Today we are talking GMOs and not arguing whether they're good or bad, but looking at what GMOs have made it into our kitchen. And to show you that probably every household has genetically modified food, I've made a list of the four most common GMOs that are probably in your kitchen right now. Even if you're thinking, oh, I, I don't eat GMOs, well, they're unlabeled right now, so I'm guessing you probably do and just don't know it. Let's get into it. All right, let's start with a big one and that's sugar. Now, sugar comes from two different crops. You have sugar beets or sugar cane. And sugar beets are pretty heavily genetically modified. So of all the sugar beets planted in the US, about 90% are GM. And most of the GM sugar beets, so they're modified to be more herbicide resistant. So that sort of helps farmers because it can control weeds much easier. So these GM sugar beets, they are used to make about 50% of the sugar supply in the US. So if you have sugar that's made from sugar beets, you can pretty safely assume it is a genetically modified ingredient. Now, if you are trying to avoid GMOs in your food, what you want to look for is sugar made from sugar cane. And that's because sugar cane, unlike sugar beets, has not been genetically modified. So any sugar made from sugar cane is non-GMO. The easiest way to find sort of whether they're made from sugar beets or sugar cane is look for an ingredient statement on the back of your food or whatever you're trying to buy and see if it specifies cane sugar on the ingredient statement. Because when a food specifies cane sugar, they're trying to signal to you that they did not use GMOs in this food. So you'll see in a lot of organic candy, if you look at their ingredient statement, they will always specify cane sugar because they're trying to prove to you that they did not use GMOs in this organic candy. Moving on to soybeans. Now, you might be thinking, I don't really eat soybeans, and maybe you don't eat them in their original form, but you probably eat foods or other ingredients made from soybeans. And the reason I bring soybeans up is because over 94% of soybeans planted in the U.S. are genetically modified. So foods I would guess that you probably have in your kitchen that are made from soybeans are things like tofu, um, soy milk, soy sauce, edamame. And if you sort of dig deeper into food ingredients, you we use soy soybean oil. So soybean oil is in this cooking spray. It's actually in the shortening. It would be found in margarines. Another food ingredient made from soybeans is called soy lecithin. That's an emulsifier. And actually soy lecithin is in this cooking oil too. So soybeans, maybe you know you're not eating whole soybeans, but you're probably eating a lot of ingredients made from GM soybeans. Moving on to another big one, and that's corn. I would guess most houses in the U.S. at least have either canned corn, frozen corn, or other ingredients that are made from corn. And in 2020, in the U.S., it's estimated that 92% of corn planted has been genetically modified. So again, it's pretty safe to assume if you're eating corn, it has been genetically modified. Now, what's interesting is corn was actually one of the first crops to be genetically modified. It was first modified in the 1990s. And at that time, we got what was called Bt corn. And the Bt comes from the soil bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis. And why they modified the corn was to give it this protein toxin that the soil, the soil bacterium produced because it actually was toxic to insects and other pests, but it does not affect humans or other larger animals at all. So the corn was modified so that it could also make this toxin and sort of kill off all these pests in the field. And the corn crop, you know, had higher yields, was better, easier to grow. And so BT corn became very um, popular in the 90s. Since then, it's been, you know, more modifications have been made over the past several decades. So most corn in the U.S. at least has been genetically modified. And I just want you to think about, you know, all the other foods that are made from 
corn. So we have a lot of ingredients like corn syrup, corn starch, corn oil. So when just a crop like corn is modified, you have to remember all the different ingredients that GM crop is then used to make because it actually affects a lot of different foods and ingredients. Number four on my list is canola oil. So canola oil, you probably have it in your kitchen to either fry with or cook with. It's in your cooking sprays and it's in your margarines. Now, canola oil is not from the canola plant. It actually is produced from the rapeseed plant. And that might be why in other countries like the UK, they don't say canola oil. They just call it rapeseed oil because that's the plant it's harvested from. So over 95% of the rapeseed plants in big countries like the US, Australia, Canada, 95% is genetically modified. So if you have canola oil in your kitchen, there's a really high chance it's a genetically modified ingredient as well. And that's just the four crops, genetically modified crops that I think are most commonly turned into food. There's obviously a lot more. And as more GMOs are made, we will probably see more being, you know, incorporated into our food supply. But like I mentioned earlier, right now, you know, none of these are labeled for having genetically modified ingredients, but actually by 2022, the, the food will be labeled. It will have to be labeled if it is genetically modified. You will see it say bioengineered. It will not say GMO on the label. You, you will have to look for bioengineered, but that's coming in a couple years. So for right now, like I said, you're probably eating GMOs without even knowing it. So I hope this list was helpful just even to gain an understanding. Now, if you made it this far and like my videos, please give them a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the foods you eat, leave them in the comments section. I'm always looking for new ideas for videos. See you later.